Good afternoon, good afternoon. It's good to be amongst some trailblazers, some, some young and handsome seniors today. My name is Linda. My name is Linda Jackson, and I am with Jink here. Now, I work out in the Glenwood area, but I'm here assisting my buddy Marvin today. But I, I got the colleagues, and the colleagues here, they work in your area. So, I know you probably already heard of Jink here, because they come here already. Right. But I still want to just reiterate some services that we render to the seniors. Uh, you are important people to us. You might not think so, but you are. And let me tell you why. Because JCare only serves seniors. We give our attention, our love, our compassion, and our affection to seniors. We service only seniors, veterans, and those who are disabled. Now, you might say, hmm, that sounds good, but I can go to my own doctor. That might be true. You might have your own doctor. You might be going to your doctor for 30, 40 years. But I just want to share a little something and give you a little insight on what JCare offers that your doctor, you might not get at your doctor's office, because we actually a doctor office. But we, well, some folks might say we look like we're urgent care because of the services that we offer there. Now I'm gonna uh, sit and give you all one of these and you can just see if I just discuss a few of them. When y'all can just help me real quick. Um, no, I'm just gonna talk. And it's, it's Gene Care List of Services and I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I wanna hit some points. So our, pair, our uh, PCP doctor, that means primary care physician. And what that basically is, your doctor. And so our doctors, they are very proactive. They are interested in you being healthy, and their goal is to keep you out of the hospital. You might say that's not possible. I beg different. It is possible, because what they do is, they spend a lot of time with you. Our doctors, they have around about 400 pa uh, patients. We say him. But most doctors have three to 4,000 patients that they see per year. So what's the difference between our doctors? Our doctors have one, more time to spend with you. They have time to talk to you about your loved ones, your grandkids, and your trips that you take every year when you wanna go uh, for the season to Florida or California. So that's one thing. They got, they got a lot of time to spend with you. You're not just gonna walk up in gym care and they say, hey, how you doing? Okay, you got that text. <laughs> so, they're not just gonna have you come in there and they're gonna take your vital signs and uh, prescribe your medication and send you on your way. No, that's not what they're gonna do. They're gonna say, how you doing, Miss Jones? Or how you doing, Miss Jackson? Or Mr. Don? Uh, how was your day? Have you been on any trips lately? Uh, how's the medication? Well, let's talk about your medication because this is what your medication do for you. Have you uh, experienced any of those symptoms? So they can, they can develop a rapport with you. They're not going to take you in and run you out. They have, they have a, the first appointment is 45 minutes. Now, I've spoken to some seniors and they said, that's too long. I asked them, a question, is that too long to learn about your health? Is that too long for the doctor to get to know who you are? So you can trust them. Cause it's about a trust factor. Cause some of you all, how many of y'all been with your doctors for at least over 10 years? So you build that rapport with them. And you might say, oh no, I'm staying with Dr. Kuda. He's the best doctor on South Savage, on East Savage Chicago. But I want you to know change is good. It, it, it really is. So let me, I'm gonna, I want to share, share the story with you and then I'm gonna let my colleague come up. I was doing an event like this one day at a senior building and the Holy Spirit, and I'm gonna say the Holy Spirit because we're faith-based if you didn't know. And what that means is we can talk about the Lord and we can pray with you and we can do Bible study with you. So I, I, I call it a privilege because I do ministry work and I'm a street evangelist. So I call it a, a pleasure and a blessing yeah. to get a job where I can share the word of God with mm -hmm. someone. Mm -hmm. 
And I know all you, you all probably been to church because you, you're, you're young. And so, but you've been here longer than me. So, I was talking to the singers, right? And I want you to, I just want to talk about change. And I said to them, um, could anyone tell me what happens when a baby cries? And I got all kinds of answers. Oh, I just pet the baby, or I just uh, 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 give the baby a bottle, or I, they, they call it knee the baby. And then, uh, when I'm saying, oh, I just, you know, just shake it. I mean, I shake it, rock it. So I said to them, I'm looking for a word. And this young senior said, oh, I know what I do for the baby. I just changed the pattern. And I said, you are absolutely right. The word I was looking for was change. And this is what I want to say with, to you. When you change the diaper or the pamper of a baby, it changes the tone of the baby. It changes the demeanor of the baby. So the baby is no longer what? Crying. The baby is now content. And the baby is now happy and I say rejoice. So, this is what I want to leave with you today. Change is good sometimes. Because you can have a doctor, and I'm not persuading you to leave your doctor. I just want to put something on your mind. You can have a doctor and go to him 10 to 15 to 20 years. Ask yourself a question. Am I still on the same medication? Am I still getting the same results? Have I gotten back? Have my medication been reduced? So those are some things you might want to think about. Because as we know, from where you came from and what we have today, it's totally different. Why is that? Change. 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 Now, you might say what's happening today in the world isn't good. But it's the way of life now. Mm -hmm. So that's what you have to do. Adapt. And then you got to do what? Make some changes. I say that to think about because what Gen Care offers, Gen Care offers a lot. We, we provide transportation for you if you don't have a ride. We roll out the red carpet for the seniors. If you don't have groceries and you call Gen Care, we're going to the store we're going to get you some groceries and we're going to bring it to you. Not only that, if you is sick, and you don't want to, we don't want you to go to the emergency room. We have our doctors that does 24 hour calls. So when you call, you're going to get a doctor. So whatever doctor is on site, is on a call that day, you're going to get a call from him. And he's going to, or she is going to assess your, your, med your medical issue and determine if you need to come to the uh, clinic or do you need to go to the emergency room. Now, J Care, we accept Medicare Advantage. It's a med Medicare Advantage plan. Some of y'all might say, oh, no, I don't want that. I, I, I beg different. You might want to think about that. So let me just say this about G-Care. A lot of people think when we when they see G-Care, we are, we are insurance. We're not insurance. We're actually a medical, a doctor's office. We have the x-ray room there. So guess what? You're not going to the hospital to get an x-ray. If you fall and hurt your knee and it swell up or your ankle, we're going to tell you to come into the clinic because we have an x-ray room. Not only that, we have a medication room. So if you're on medication, we have over 20, 200 medications and they for preventive and maintenance care, but the doctor can give it to you right there. So I'm sitting here saying, I want to go to CVS, I want to go to Jewels, I want to go to Walmart. Here's the thing, we roll in our VIP. You get everything right there in the center. And I don't want to give all of the way because I want you to come and enjoy a tour with us and get the experience of being part of the care. Cause see, I can stand up there all day long and tell you about tell you about Jen Care, right? You're not gonna feel it until you walk up in there, and you can say, "Oh, Miss Jackson said they was very welcome and nice." Oh, Miss Jackson said they had medication room. Oh, Miss Jackson said they had an X-ray room. So, I just want you to know that Jen Care is around. We have six locations, and one of them is right up the street. And these young ladies here is actually in your area. So, without further ado. I want you to know we did bring some little, little nice little gifts for you just to remind you of Jen Care when you leave here. You're going to take Jen Care home with you. Uh, I'm going to have uh, Miss Karen come up because she's in the area and they we, we do all events. 
we have events all every month. We got an event going on. We just we did a shopping spree, and they, we kind of do the same events, just different days and different ways. And uh, they have a couple of events in your area that they that she wants to share with you. Um, on on that note, I just want you to know God loves you. If nobody else does, okay? Yeah. You all be great. Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Karen. I'm from the Jeffrey Manor location, so we actually down the street. I know our Waisha, she comes and do events with you guys. So we're just here promoting two events that we have. Tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. So at the center, we're gonna have a taco stand. We're gonna have community resources coming in. So if you're free tomorrow, I know it's tomorrow, and I know your time is valuable, so it's a short notice. Uh, next week, we're also having a Mother's Day event. So we're celebrating our mothers from the clinic and the community. So we're partnering up with Bessemer Park. Yes, yes. Bessemer Park, uh, which is right here in 89, and South Chicago is the entrance. And what we're having for Mother's Day is we have a, you know, a spa day type of deal. We have got massages, manicures, a fitness class, so you know, a fitness is important. So these are the two flyers of the two upcoming events that we have coming in from our Jeffrey Manor location, which is down the street here in Ayesha Street.
It doesn't matter. We can always be cured, but this might not be a time depending on your health issues. We can do it. But if you was very interested, we would reach out to you uh, in what, October uh, when it's AEP, when you can make a switch. And I'm done, and I'm ready to play some bingo because I brought some nice gifts for you all to win, and I'm going to hand it back over to Mark.